as you can probably see, I'm plowing. Um, doing a little fall tillage this morning while the frost is burning off. I have 44 acres left to cut. A uh, 40 acre chunk across the road, and then I have to pack everything up and head back to the main farm and do a four, two two acre chunks at the main farm, and then harvest is done. So I'm hoping to wrap that up today, um, but we'll see. They are talking rain tomorrow, um, and it's supposed to start at like five in the morning and then go right through until two in the afternoon or something like that. Um, but we'll see. I'm hoping to get the last of everything cut today, but um, one, it depends on when this frost burns off this morning. Two, it also <clears throat> depends how quickly I can cut that 40 across the road here and get everything moved back to the home farm to cut off those two two acre chunks. Um, but we'll see. But in the meantime, I've got about four, about 400 acres of fall tillage that needs to be done. So yeah, we're racking up, racking up the acres right now while we're waiting for frost to burn off. These Richmond Brother Points are doing awesome. Just beautiful. Nothing like the smell of freshly turned dirt. I am officially back in the combine. So hopefully, if I can at least get this 40 acres off before the rain tomorrow, I'll be happy. Because then I can move I can move everything while it's still wet out back to the home farm to cut off that last four acres. But if I can get that last four acres cut off yet tonight, I'll be that much further ahead in my mind. I need to apologize to you guys. I I forgot you guys on the truck rather than bring it with you, bringing you with me in the combine. All right, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, what I was going to say is I, grabbed, I went to grab the camera to tell you guys that I was half done with this field. I got about 20 more acres left here, and then I'm like, where the hell's the camera? And then it dawned on me I was in the truck. So... Like I said, I've got about 20 more acres here, and the sun's going down fast, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to move back to the home farm to cut that last four acres off or not. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just stay here and finish plowing the field across the road. Well, that is a wrap for this county. So I've got this 40 acres done. Um, it is pretty dark out, so I'm not gonna move to back to the home farm tonight. Um, but I am, I think, gonna go finish plowing across the road and kind of just open up the rain doors in the combine and the rain doors in the grain cart and Call it a night, I guess. Sorry, I was distracted. I those headlights. I was thinking they were in this field, and I was like, "What in the world is that person doing here?" But they're across the road. All right. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna dump this in the truck, open rain doors, and then. Uh, I think I'm gonna go finish plowing across the road. It's probably a couple hours, I think, if that, and then I'll be done over there. I'm not gonna lie. Plowing is a uh, nice change of a pace. Plus, there's a whole lot more lights on the tractor than there are the combine. 
I got lit up all the way around me versus just in front of me. Okay, so I know you guys can't see me, but you can probably hear me. Um, so as I was on my last pass, I had, uh, I've been having like, you know, the nose hairs that grow out and tickle your and into your nose. Well, it was bothering me and it was going in and out when I breathed. So I'm up there rooting around looking for it, trying to figure out which one it is, preparing myself for the tear in the eye when I yank it. And as I'm up there searching for the hair, I hit a bump on the tractor and I'm on an air right seat. So when I hit this big bump, I went down and slammed back up on the seat. Naturally, my fingers are up by my nose. I penetrated my booger hole with my index finger and I swear to God, I was two knuckles deep in it and stabbed my brain. That brought a tear to my eye not the pulling of the hair. I was really hoping to be done with the uh, whole harvest thing today, tonight. Um, but for safety reasons, I didn't move the combine um, just because of the fact that it was dark. It was six o'clock and I have to travel down like two busy roads um, and that kind of traffic at six o'clock is not worth the headache. So I've only got four acres left to do. I got to do two acres behind the barn here and two acres up and around the corner and harvest is done. So I think I'm going to continue this video on that way I can do harvest wrap up all in one video. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Morning, everybody. It's actually two days later. Um, yesterday they were talking rain. It was supposed to rain from like 6 a.m. until 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Well, at the farm where the four acres are, it rained not hard but enough to put a little puddles here and there in the early mornings, like before I even came to work. Um, so that was enough to kind of screw my last four acres up. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'll go down and check, you know, our Oakland County stuff. It didn't rain a drop down there yet. So I jumped in the plow and I spent a good portion of the day in the plow yesterday and I got about 90... 90 some acres plowed up um, and I was home by around, around 4.30, 5 o'clock. Um, so that was nice. So today, it frosted hard last night. I have today, which is going to be 51 degrees, tomorrow, which is going to be 45 degrees, and then after tomorrow, temperatures are supposed to tank. So I'm going, I have someone coming in to help me, and I'm going to move the combine, the grain cart, the head, everything back to the farm here. Once the frost burns off, I'm going to cut these four acres off, and then I'm going to start power washing everything, because the combine takes a fair amount of time to power wash. Um, the grain cart tractor has a lot of mud on it, so that's going to take a fair amount of time. Um, but I'm going to start power washing everything today and this afternoon and tomorrow because I'd much rather do the power washing when it's a touch warmer versus when it's bitter cold. Um, even if I don't get the barn packed yet, I'm, I want to get everything cleaned in the next two days, what I can get cleaned. Um, the plow tractor, I'm going to end up power washing that in the cold. I already know that because we're not done plowing yet and it's a little on the muddy side. So that's kind of like my game plan that's going on in my head we'll see if it actually happens or not got everything back to the home farm um, I had an issue develop when I unhooked the head out in the field we have what they call a single point hookup um, and it's dirty but don't look at that this little doohinky it's supposed to look like this 
it uh, when I unhooked the head it like popped out at me so I got I think I have an old one that was leaking um, it'll work for the four acres I have left to do but I have to find it and I have to find the tool that goes in there to change it so yeah I got to do that this morning before I start cutting wonderful there crisis averted while I was waiting for this frost to burn off, I did power wash the grain cart, brush it, rinsed it. That is ready to be put away for winter. Um, the 8430, I power washed it. It still needs to be run over with a brush and rinsed, but I got all the big stuff off of it. That looks way better. So now I'm going to run around the corner here, hook the head up, knock out those two acres there, drop the head, come back around the corner, grab my pickup, go get the head, and then knock out the two acres behind the barn here. So let's, uh, let's go finish these beans. My last two acre chunk for 2023. the last strip There you have it. Harvest 2023 is officially done. Now clean and pack the barn for winter and you know how that goes. I think I'm going to go home. I think I'm in the video here. Call it a day. Um, I did get the 8430 washed. The grain carts washed. The combine is blown out. Um, so now tomorrow I can power wash that and then hit it with the soapy brush and then hose it off and that should be done. That's going to take a big portion of the day to clean just because it's a lot, a lot of surface area to clean there. Um, and it gets very filthy to begin with, but then you throw mud on top of it and it's just, it's bad situation. I'm going to do that tomorrow while it's still decent out. Um, then they're talking high of like 35 on Monday. So Monday morning I'm going to truck that load of beans in. But I want to focus on getting that combine clean tomorrow. And if that's all that gets done is the combine, I'm good with that. Because after that it's just little stuff here and there that needs to be hosed off before it gets put away for winter. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you in the next one.